Okay, Gadza, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. This is part two of your speed love check-in. Um, cards are already out, so let's get straight to it. Bear in mind, my Lizzie's a general reader, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. If you want to watch extended videos, you can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you join my channel, each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. You can buy individual vids on my website though. All right, so now we've got time to talk. So the overall vibe here, we've got the moon crossed by the hangman it just sort of feels like there's this a feeling of insecurity and anxiety around this relationship that you're waiting that you you don't know where you stand with this person you sort of feel like okay you know well while I'm waiting I'll try and do the healing that I need to do I'm good I'm fine I can wait I'm good this is this is okay I can wait it's almost like they've sort of said to you, I have to do this. I have to get on with this. So if you could just wait until I'm ready. And you're like, okay, yeah, sure, fine. I can wait. And, you know, in that time, I'll be more ready too. I'll focus on other things, you know. I'll, I'll get on with work. I'll... I'll do me. I'll be fine, you know. You just get on with you. You, I'll... I'll I'll still be here waiting when you're ready. Maybe when you uh, leave the relationship that you're in. Because, you know, there's a little bit of an overlap here, right? This person's probably in a relationship with somebody else. Um, this... Uh, contracts here that they've signed with someone else maybe physically maybe spiritually but you're sort of saying well until you're done with that maybe perhaps karmic relationship or actual marriage that you're in you know I'll, I'll take a step back and I'll focus on me and when you're ready we could do this You know, I'm just, I just got this kind of feeling that this person is, is not, they're, they're, there's a whole lot of talk here, but any sort of action towards what you are waiting for? No. It's going to turn around and bite you on the butt this relationship they're gonna I, I just get a, a a feeling they're gonna turn nasty we've got the tower here <laughs> ah no falling to our doom and then we've got this and I just when I see this it's sort of like a why are you so obsessed with this? Don't be obsessed with this. Why, why are you obsessing about is the I, I just get a negative energy coming from them like that you it's like they're turning nasty. Why are you obsessing about this relationship? You know, I've got to get on with things. I've got to do, you know, take a step back, you know, hold on. I don't like it. Even in the speed, I was like, nah, mate. I'm not liking this person. The best you can hope for is that this is not going to be a good connection with this person. In a way, looking at the outcome, this should have been a, just an in and out kind of thing. No, not like that. Don't be naughty. I'm talking about into a relationship. It's not working out out of a relationship. Your mind's out of the gutter. This person is blocked from you. Look, sorry, I hurt my finger. 
those flags there are blocking you off. They're in, they're in another relationship with someone and they're not planning on leaving it. That's, this is, they're all talk and no action. They're not going to take any action. It's sort of what it looked like in the speed read here was that they're healing from something else, that they got heart heartbroken in the past. I think that perhaps this relationship that they're in, not with you, but with this other person, is that they did break their heart, but they're not really planning on leaving this person. I don't think that they broke their heart in the traditional sense of they like, maybe ch cheated on them or something. I think this person actually maybe broke their heart because they said no. No, I don't like your behavior. No. And they don't like that very much. But also, they're kind of trapped and, and they can't leave the situation. They're not exactly happy. No. And I think because they're not exactly happy and the person they're with broke their heart, I bent my freaking finger, what did I do that for? Ah! It's not broken, it is, you see the, sorry, you don't want to look, that's gross, but I cut my finger and when I bend it, it opens up, so I can't really bend it. I think that they manifested you in, like, a distraction, and you came. And then they realised they didn't really want it because they need to deal with this. The outcome here is, this is why I'm seeing that maybe it should have been a into relationship, out of a relationship kind of thing. It was nice for a minute. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to take it into the extended. Or I'm going to ask about this person, who they are, what, what their sign is. Um, let's go deeper into this. Like, how do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? How do they feel about you though? Let's have a look in the extended book. Let's read this now. It, it was, yeah, in a, in a way, this connection gave them what they wanted, what they needed. It, it gave them the confidence that they needed. I'm getting a sense that they, they feel like they can't really speak up for themselves anymore in their, in their past relationship that they're still in. There's a sense of not being able to be honest in that relationship anymore because honesty causes problems you're a bit more pliable and that's easier for them i don't know i'm not liking it One card of advice from the universe is to pull back and distance yourself from this. Let's get you some oracle cards. Oops. Time for healing what this is saying you know you've sort of taken a step back in a way and said okay well you know while I wait for you I'll I'll work on me a little bit so do that don't be waiting for this person you're waiting on them to, to tell you what you want to hear <laughs> so, reaching way over to grab please I save your kisses for a rainy day Baby, let the moment take your heart away Have you ever needed someone so bad? I'm going to 
to sneeze. <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> Sorry, I did sneeze in the end, didn't I? <laughs> Have you ever needed someone so bad by Def Leppard? Okay, I'm going to take this into the extended. Thanks for joining me. See you later.